As you play in this garden, please remember we're all in this together. On a sunny day in June 1970, architect Lawrence Halpern spoke those words at the opening celebration for a new plaza, Four Court Fountain. Then he jumped in. It was a splashing climax to his work in Portland. Four Court Fountain, now called Ira Keller Fountain, was the last of three plazas he conceived for downtown. Unlike any plazas of the time, they were for people to come in, not stay off, and they launched an urban revolution. Back then, people came to downtown Portland to park and work or shop. Halpern's plazas offered places to gather and play. Today, Portland has many spectacular public spaces, including Waterfront Park, Pioneer Courthouse Square, and Jamison Square. The plazas were part of Portland's first urban renewal project, in which 55 blocks of the historic city were scrapped to build a new neighborhood. In other cities, similar urban renewal areas have failed, but Portland's South Auditorium District has remained livable and beautiful, in part due to Halpern's plazas. Halpern designed the plazas to evoke a mountain watershed, which begins at Little Source Fountain. From the source, tree-lined sidewalks lead to Lovejoy Fountain, which Halpern designed like a trail, wandering around and through a high mountain cascade. Next is Pettigrove Park, a soft space for quiet and contemplation. Halpern designed it as foothills. Exaggerating the grading of the land, he created the first Berm Park, an important development in landscape architecture. Finally, there is Keller Fountain, the most dramatic of the plazas, with a water flow of 13,000 gallons every minute. Molded out of grand concrete columns like the basalt cliffs of the Columbia Gorge, Keller Fountain is shaped like a proscenium stage. In fact, if you look closely, all of Halpern's plazas are a lot like theatrical sets. That's because he understood the theater of life. He and his wife, Anna, danced at the Harvard Beaux-Arts Ball in 1948. She later became a revolutionary choreographer. Halpern built her a deck to dance on off the back of their home near San Francisco. He often designed the sets for her performances, as in this legendary dance in Stockholm from 1963. The Halperns knew many avant-garde composers, among them Morton Sobotnik. Anna and Morton used this score to map both the dance and music for a performance. Larry drew on it. Soon, he would invent his own similar form of scoring to map the movement he imagined in public spaces. Indeed, when Halpern led Portlanders into the splashing opening day at Keller Fountain in 1970, he led Portland in a new dance, a city dance, that we've been doing versions of ever since. And so, in September of 2008, a group of Portland artists danced and played music in the fountains to remind us that, even today, as we play in these gardens, we're all in this together. <laughs>